YouTube channels. Today is my topics how to sort any list. It's a very very important question in interview room. So today I'm going to discuss about array list and uh, if you give someone to one array yeah array list to sort this element how can you do this. So today is the very very important topics to sort the array list because array list is a store the value in order whatever order you are inserting the data in this order it will store it doesn't maintain anything so this is the insertion orders accessing the value of this array list okay so now i am going to discuss about the java language the sorting provides the predefined sorting function java having a one kinds of the function like sort through this we can sort the array list so array list class it's implementing the list and list is implementing the interface of collection so it is a hierarchy and array list having insertion order to maintain but does not sorting orders okay so you have to make this collection or yeah, array list in the sorting orders so how can you do it so first you can do it in the two way i'm going to describe it so first way is you have a collections class collection is nothing not, not a interface it is a class like uh, array list so method to sort the elements of the collections like array list so thus we not have right our own logic to sorting the collection we don't want to write any logic to sort the collection it's a inbuilt method to sorting the collection okay next is how to sort the array list okay i already told two way we can sort the array list first is this is done using the class called collections so collection is a class in this collection having this collection is available in java.util package which contains a statics method called sort sort is a one of the important methods are available in this collection class which can sort an array list aur ye kya kar sakta hai array list ko sort kar sakta hai the property of the element is public statics void and sort of l it means we can pass here list any list okay so it will sort like any list it means array list vectors link list like that okay now this method accept a list argument so sub class of the list we can also take child class of the list so it is a list arguments and sort its elements in the natural orders so it's maintain the natural order only okay next what is the natural orders what is the meaning of natural orders natural order it means that your alphabetical orders a b c d like that natural order is means that your natural numbers like 1 2 3 4 5 like that we can sort so natural order means default sorting order which is follow as second is if you list consist of the string element it will be sorted into the alphabetical orders it means that if you collect uh, all the object of the strings in the array list then it will sort this alphabetical orders if it consist of the data elements it will be sorted into the chronological orders okay it uh, consist integers it will be sorted in the numerics order it means 1 2 3 4 5 okay how to sort the array list how can you sort the array list so just come in this point but before you are going to the sort but when you call the method sort collections class and pass it our student then it will generate an error why for example if you pass here a string element 
no problem if you pass data element no problem if you contains integers no problems but when you pass the generated student class object then is getting error so it is one of the most important things you have to think about it okay now can you guess why this is the answer this is because we have not defined any sorting orders in our student object because a student is a one class and this class does not having a any sort methods so how can you sort this data so you have to override something to do this okay so our java will provide something features to do it for the object class but uh, whatever i am talking about wrapper classes like integers float double a string all these are the inbuilt classes and triple classes so you don't want to think about it because in this classes already having those features so you don't want to consider all these are the features having this classes a string data integers so these are the triple classes so already available but your class is student class so that's why not available so you have to implement it okay you already learn about the student okay what is the solution of this how can you do it to solve this problem you will have to supply the information to collection information to collection class about how to sort the student list how can you do it how can you send your information in the collection class so collection class know about yes i have to sort the student object this is done by implementing an interface called comparable so you already know about the comparable comparator so comparator ya comparable i will give you some difference comparator will give you the natural order sorting but if you want to do the sorting in the customized order then you go for the comparator so if you demand i want next video in comparator then i will do this otherwise you can learn your own how to do through this comparators okay so right now i am going to discuss about comparable so you have to implement in a student class comparable interface and overriding its method called compare to so comparable interface having a compare to methods you have to override this methods and just call in your test class collections dot sort so sort internally call the compare to method are available in the comparable interface so that's why your sorting will be done which has the flowing prototype okay publics in compare to of object if you don't know how to do this code then just comment below i will give you code also okay thank you so much and uh, watching my video if you like it please like the buttons and subscribe my channels thank you so much